何事も包み隠さずタブーを作らず Japanese director Toshiaki Toyoda is no stranger to controversy. Last year, the 50 year old former childhood shogi prodigy was arrested on possession of owning a firearm, a serious offense in Japan that can carry a prison sentence of many years. As it turned out, Toyoda only had an old pistol from World War II. Such things tend to attract him, though, because in 2009 he was also arrested for possession of stimulant drugs. Another thing that Japan cares very little for, and something that has since harmed his ability to make films in the Japanese cinema system. All this might seem like a bit of conjecture, but it goes some way to explaining the motivations behind Toyota's films. He's a man who broke into the industry on the back of the rather noticeably titled Porno Star, a film about the seedy side of Shibuya. His next feature, Blue Spring, was similarly controversial. Portraying the apathy and dissatisfaction of students coming through Japan's high school system. His fourth film, this one, The Hanging Garden, similarly takes aim, this time at the residual lies and misinformation that Toyoda seems to think are spread within Japanese families. The film's events focus on the Kyobayashi family, a seemingly well to do unit of four who live in a dreamy garden apartment. While sitting around the dinner table at night, they freely discuss a number of strange topics. This includes when Mom Erica first lost her virginity, as well as whether Son Ko has the hots for his new tutor. The reason for this is because Erica is determined that in order to have the perfect life, the family must, and I quote, keep no secrets, be ashamed of nothing. It's a philosophy that's often applied through gritted teeth. Such as when details begin to emerge about daughter Mina bunking off school to visit love hotels. If Japanese families are typically portrayed as being too afraid to express themselves, then the Kobayashi family are their polar opposite. The dysfunction stems from Erika, who in childhood first began shutting out reality, ceding to the whims of fantasy. It's meant she's become driven by a need to always be in control. A type of pathological behavior that manifests throughout the film. Just about the only character who actually comes across well is Sun Ko, which is an interesting shift from Toyota's earlier films that tended to highlight the degeneracy of young men. When asked about the title shortly after the film's release, Toyota remarked that the Hanging Garden is both a reference to Babylon as well as a nod to the rootlessness of Japanese society. It's a metaphor that he applies through the visuals, which are frequently disorientating. For example, during the title card, we're provided with a full and very nauseating 360 degree rotation shot. There's also the recurring sight of an unused Ferris wheel that's used throughout the film, an object that I personally think is used to reflect a contrast between how romantic something is designed to be against the stark reality of what it is. Ultimately, The Hanging Garden is a darkly comic and very strange film indeed. It left me feeling that the point of it is that one's dark past can't be extinguished without confronting it head on. Like a building built on stony ground, these are problems that will keep adding until they eventually fall apart, which they very much do for Erica on one rainy and very bloody night. <laughs> 